how to find a centroid using MD solids. Uh, what you do is you open up MD solids, double click on that, and you'll open up to the screen where there are a number of different options. We'll be getting to a number of those. For this one, click on section properties. Click on section properties and this window. You have, the, this is where you can pick your shape, whether it's a just basic rectangle, open box, cylinder. Under the flange, we have the I-beams, T-beams, C-shape. Those ones are in the PowerPoint. Uh, and some other kinds of more involved ones. If we, if for example, I picked the T-shape, the one that I cut out of the cardboard, then you get this. A couple of things you need to do right away, make sure that you can change this millimeters to inches so that you get the right answer, okay? Uh, now we're only doing centroids right now, so to do that, all I have to do is put in my information. If this was, for example, six inches, six point inches, and these were all, let's say, two inches there and two inches wide. And the height here was, let's say that was also six inches. So we've got all of our measurements. Then all we have to do is we click on Compute. And this other window opens up. And from here, you'll see right here from the bottom to the centroid, it has it as five inches from the center of the top three because we have a total of eight inches, six here and two more here. And then if you wanna see the other one, you click on the Y axis properties and it gives you the other way, coming in three inches and three inches. And you can see here, this is the Y, where these two red lines meet, that is where my centroid is, okay? And so that will tell you exactly where it is. So on the Y axis, in the Y direction, that's three inches and in the Z axis, it's coming up uh, five inches. And so that's all there is to finding the centroid of a shape using MD solids.